Welcome back to Exponential Africa. We were in the beautiful city of San Jose. It feels like you're in some tropical paradise in Costa Rica. And we're fortunate enough to be here today with Kathy Heckel. She is one of the top voices on LinkedIn around technology. You also are currently working with Magic Leap. That is correct. So Kathy, thanks for being on the show. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into this whole spatial computing world? Yeah, so I, I actually come from a, from a storytelling background. I don't come from a strong technology background. Um, I was a journalist for many years, worked in PR and marketing, uh, went to a conference and uh, put on a headset, a virtual reality headset, went into an experience called Confinement by the Guardian. It puts you in a six by nine solitary confinement cell where prisoners spend 90% of their time and I would say within a couple minutes, I was completely claustrophobic, had to take the headset off, and a few things happened. I said, this is the future of storytelling on some level, or now what I call story living, and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Wow. And that was like about five years ago, and now you know, I've been able to work with companies like HTC Vive, I've, done, uh, you know, I've been a part of Oculus Launchpad, and now I'm actually very lucky to be part of the enterprise team at Magic Leap. That's so cool. I mean, we're also very passionate about virtual and augmented reality. I have an animation studio. We develop our own uh, applications. And I've, I've got the same sort of feeling as, as you. This is going to change the way we tell stories, the way we, we play, the way we work, the way we do everything. Uh, what are some of the things you're seeing at Magic Leap specifically that, that is really exciting? Well, if you think about how the mobile phone, let's say the smartphone changed the way we communicate, right? With friends and family and how we do work. Imagine that times 10. I think that that's what spatial computing, that's what we call uh, the, the technology that is enabled by our device. Um, that's what spatial computing can do. It's gonna amplify this times 10, whether it is communication, whether it's training, whether it's 3D visualization. I think it's gonna be extremely powerful. And um, you know, I think it's also important to kind of explain what we mean by spatial computing. So by spatial computing, we mean it's a new form of computing that combines artificial intelligence and computer vision to seamlessly blend digital content in your reality. That's incredible. I mean, I was, I was playing on the Magic Leap. You, you, you gave me a chance to uh, just, just play around with it. And I was playing the Angry Birds game, and the actual game was on the floor right in front of me, which was amazing. It felt like it was really there. Mm -hmm. The quality was incredible. The resolutions got a lot better. And uh, is this going to be the end of the screen? What, I mean, we won't need screens in the future. I I think that's the future, the future that we're going towards, right? Uh, I think we're still going to have screens, you know, in the next five, you know, maybe 10 years. Uh, but we are going to move away from, from that. You know, we're going to break away from the tyranny of the screen, like many people say. The shopping mall is our reality. Yeah, exactly. The shopping mall and even your, the storytelling possibilities are your reality. Think about it from that perspective as well. What is the story of Magic Leap? It's, 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 it's been running for four or five years, uh, and it only came out with a headset last year. Yeah, um, we came to market with the Magic Leap Creators Edition in August of 2018. Uh, and then December 10th, we launched our enterprise offering. Uh, we brought the Magic Leap 1 uh, to market, which is more for enterprise. And uh, our Magic Leap 2 is actually coming out uh, next year. Incredible. Well, what so. dates is that? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Real exciting to, to It's going to be really that. exciting. I do. I, I definitely. I can definitely share that it will come. It will come out in 2021. So, um, just you know, I'm very excited for what I've seen. And uh, is it going to be this? They the, said that the value of the digital assets going to sometimes be more valuable than the real asset. How's that going to play out? And is this going to create a, a new type of economy in the world? I think so. I think it's going to amplify economies. We talk a lot in Magic Leap uh, about the magic verse, which is kind of that digital, uh, let's say, the digital layer that's being created uh, over the physical world, right? So you're kind of expanding. The AR cloud. The AR, another, some people call term. it the AR cloud. I mean, we use, we use the term magic verse, right? It's an emergent system of systems. And it's really impactful because it's the true merging of our physical lives and our physical instances with our digital lives and who we are in the digital world. So if you think about that, the physical world has a finite economy, correct? But if you think about it from a digital perspective, it's amplified. So yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a very powerful driver and it's going to create exponential growth. And I mean, obviously Magic Leap is, is a mixed reality spatial computing device. You also get virtual reality and you get augmented reality. How do you see all these different streams, these different branches of this new type of uh, uh, storytelling device mm -hmm. play out? 
Well, I think, you know, what's the saying? All tides race boats or something like that. Um, I think that, you know, there's virtual reality, augmented reality, and spatial computing. I think all these technologies are very important. Uh, we're obviously very much focused on spatial computing and kind of where it's going to go. We see it really as the most powerful, um, you know, part of that immersive paradigm. And have you seen any, uh, I'm sure there must be a lot of case studies and testing going on. What are some of the results you've seen around learning, around mm -hmm. experiences? You know, what are the benefits of using a headset? Why not just live like we normally live? Well, I think it's, you know, let's take an example. Let's take a company like McLaren, right? So McLaren currently uses clay models to create a lot of their cars. But if you're designing a car to function in the real world, why not design it in the real world? So you can put a Magic Leap one on and, um, and envision and see the model in front of you, make changes to the model. So imagine what that does to the design process, right? It also allows the designer and the producers to, to be more creative, right? Because they're not limited by working in a 3D model on a screen. Tell me a bit about your a top voice on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to be a top voice on LinkedIn? Well, so LinkedIn every year does kind of a curation of who are the people that are generating the most conversation and the most engagement, right? And they do it by countries. They also do it by industry. And I've been very lucky to be a top voice in technology for two years in a row. Amazing. Um, yeah, so it's been truly fantastic to be one of the women in the space, uh, and specifically in the AR and VR industry that's been kind of um, not, you know, named by LinkedIn as one of the top, uh, you know, And top does that mean that there. you're putting out a lot of content, you're mm -hmm. publicizing a lot of articles? I think it's not so much, yeah, I'm putting out a lot of content, but it's quality content, and it's, qu it's content that my community engages with. Amazing. and creates conversation. I think that's, that's kind of the key, is if you're bringing value, if you're providing content that actually adds to what people want to learn on LinkedIn, um, then it creates that engagement and it just kind of comes, it all comes, it comes together. Amazing, so that's a bit of your sp storytelling yeah. background uh, coming through in, sure. in a social platform. So, uh, Kathy, thanks so much. I think we've run out of time. That was really, really interesting to hear and we can't wait to see what's going to happen in the spatial computing world. Mm -hmm. Magic Leap 2 2021, we can't wait. Thank yeah, you really so excited. much. Really excited. Thank you. Keep smiling. I hope you really enjoyed that. Make sure to like and subscribe to our page.